welcome back. I hope you all are having a fantastic Saturday. I'm excited, guys. I'm so excited. I just got the Too Faced Peanut Butter Palette in the mail last night. So I had to bust out this palette and play with it today. And I created this look. It's not really a tutorial. I was just, it's kind of a first impression. And I used almost every single shadow in here. I used one, two, three, four, five, six of the nine shades. So um, if you want to see these in action, go ahead and keep watching. And I do kind of run down what else is on my face at the end of this video. But um, let's just go ahead and get started because I ramble this whole video. And um, But I wanted to do something different because I've seen a lot of people do like the jelly shade on the lower lid or, or on the lower lash line or maybe on the lid but I wanted to create something different so hopefully you guys like this and let's just go ahead and get started. You guys have no idea the excitement that I have right now. This is so exciting to me because I eat peanut butter every single day. No joke. I eat peanut butter every day. I usually eat peanut butter for breakfast. So I will have a piece of wheat toast with peanut butter or apples and peanut butter. Shoot, if I'm running out the door, sometimes I might just get a spoonful of peanut butter. I absolutely love it. So I'm excited to play with this. And this isn't really a tutorial, guys, because I'm not good at those. But I just want to play with this with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this extra creamy shade right here. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid for kind of a base eyeshadow. And I've been seeing people do... Um, like tutorials or looks with this and everybody's doing the same thing so we're gonna have to think outside the box with this video y'all because you know I can't be doing the same thing as everybody else that's boring okay um I'm also gonna take that a little bit like in the inner corner because I got some darkness today I got this last night so today's Friday I got this last night and it was too late to film and of course I already had my makeup on anyways but um I was so sad because it was too late to film. So I woke up early this morning to film before the kids got up. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do right now on the crease? Y'all can think I'm crazy. Actually, first, before I go crazy, I'm going to put peanut butter in the crease. And then I'm going to put that purple in the crease, girl. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. What's that purple called? Jelly. You know what's funny? I don't like jelly, guys. I love peanut butter. I love peanut butter sandwiches, but I don't like jelly. I think it's because, you are going to laugh at me. I think it's because my mom used to, my mom wasn't really a cook. And so she used to make us spam sandwiches, but she would put jelly on them hoes. And I was like, ew, like while she was cooking it. She put it on the stovetop and put jelly on it. It was so gross. Y'all remember Spam? Ugh. If I had to eat Spam again, mm -mm. I would probably just rather die. Uh, and chicken pot pies. My mom used to always buy us chicken pot pies because we were poor. And they were like 75 cents. And they had, she said they had all the food groups. You know, bread, vegetables, chicken, whatever. Anyways, off topic. Okay, let's go in with jelly in the crease. Yes, I am, girl. Yes, I am. So, y'all are going to think I'm crazy. But, I'm sick of seeing the same look. Ooh, that's pretty. Especially layered over that. See, if you use a fluffy brush, sometimes you can use these more shimmery shades in the crease. Sometimes. Mmm, that's pretty over peanut butter, especially. Isn't it? So, what are y'all's, on y'all's agenda this weekend? Because I'm going to upload this. I'm going to upload it tonight, but it probably won't go live till in the morning. Because um, we're going to go to the movies and stuff tonight. We're going to see something about a zoo. I don't remember. The kids are wanting to see it. And everybody, all three of my kids are having a sleepover tonight. So, we're going to have six kids. That's pretty in the crease, y'all. Mm-hmm. Okay, while we're playing with the jelly shade, I'm going to pop on this Piggy Bank liner 
on my lower lash line. This is from ColourPop. Not my favorite formula of liner, but I love this color, so it's all worth it. Look at that. And we're just going to use this as a base for that piggy bank. And I'm going to take a little short shader brush and dip into jelly. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush, which I think was limited edition. But you guys, I really like her brushes. Like, I really like the book the Sonia Kashuk brush line. I haven't tried, I've only tried one lipstick from her. I haven't tried a lot from her makeup. So if y'all have any must-haves, let me know below. But I really like her brushes. I'm gonna go back into peanut butter with a pencil brush and put that under jelly. I think these names are the cutest things I've ever even heard in my whole life. If I could, if it was appropriate to name your kid Peanut Butter, I probably would have named one of my boys Peanut Butter. Not gonna lie. Okay, I'm dying to throw on one of my Jordana liquid shadows, but I want to see how these perform on their own. So I'm going to use Peanut Brittle on the lid, and we're going to see how this works on its own with no primer. Ooh, that's pretty. That's really pretty next to that purple, isn't it? Ooh, yes. Now, if you wanted this to be more, of course, you know, statement eye, if you will, you could, um, you could put down some kind of base, mailing color tattoo or something. Oh, that's so pretty though. I'm gonna go back in with jelly and put some more into the crease. That is so pretty. Ooh, this is like a really pretty look. It's definitely out of my comfort zone, but I love it. So far, so good. Okay, I need to put something in my inner corner here because it's getting a little too dark. Let's go in with extra creamy again and kind of brighten up that inner, Woo! look how pigmented that is. Brighten up that inner corner and then kind of blend it out. Woo, that is so pigmented. Be careful. Okay, I want to use something to deepen up the outer V. I'm going to go into Jammin', which looks to be a purple with gold flecks in it. Like little gold flecks, like I just said. And, oh, that's pretty dark. That's good. I, you guys, I feel like this palette, first impression, has everything you need. It has something for deepening up the outer corner, has multiple shades for the lid, it has blending shades. Yes, this is a favorite. This is a 100% you need it if you like these colors. I know it kind of looks like every other neutral palette, but I don't know. Not gonna lie, kind of bought it for the packaging, but I'm loving it. The shadows blend beautifully, you guys can see. Oh yes, I'm getting excited. Slow down, Ashley. They don't need to hear all that. I might actually take a little bit on this outer corner too, of jamming. I'm just playing, you guys. I kinda wanna use every single thing in this palette right now. I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush in Nuts About You, which I just feel like I have to use, and just put a little bit in the crease, just because I want to use like every single color in this palette right now. Oh, it's so pretty. I feel like that kind of like brought the look together. If this look can be brought together because it's so cray cray but that's all right so, let's go in with fix plus and bananas and pop that in the like inner like the middle part of our lid for a pop what y'all think i love playing with makeup i could do this all day wouldn't that be cool to have that as a job to like play in makeup all day i guess some youtubers have it as their job huh that's pretty. I love this. I do not look at YouTube as a job. Uh-uh. No, girl. I don't even, mm -mm, I'm not into it because I look at it as fun makeup time, you know? And plus, if I made 
what I make on YouTube as a job, I would have already quit. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to this and just blend a little bit more and blend up towards the brow bone. With no pro This brush has no product on it. And then I think I'm going to stop. I'm going to make myself stop and put on some mascara. Should I put on fall flashes? I wish y'all could talk back to me so bad. Um, I think I might put on some falsies. And I shall return shortly. Okay, so here is the finished look. I did go ahead, I put some black liner on my inner waterline on the bottom. Um, and I put on some false lashes and I put on my lips. Let me run down real quick everything else I have on my face in case you're interested. This on my lips is a Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color. I just got it. It's in Tiramisu, and I love it. And then um, for cheeks, I use the Benefit Hula Bronzer, like the liquid. It's called Do the Hula, which it's very, very yellow and light, and I placed Hula over it, but I think it really pairs well together. And then I busted out an oldie but a goodie. This was the Pantone... Sephora and Pantone Universe Trio 2014 maybe, but I have this as my highlight. I have this on my cheek and this on kind of the back part of my cheek here. So I love that. And for foundation, I'm using the Stila Aqua Glow Foundation that I do have a full review and demo on. I will link it up here, but it is in fair light. So anyways, I love this palette. I definitely think it is worth the money. I absolutely love it. The packaging makes me smile. I like this crazy look that I got out of it. And you could definitely do a more neutral look though as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.